I've been using Zed almost exclusively for about three months as my editor of choice. And while I'm really happy with Claude Code and, and my workflow between switching between Claude Code and Zed, this new integration with Gemini CLI, uh, it gets me a little excited, actually. Excited not necessarily because I'm excited to use Gemini CLI. I, I touched it barely when it first came out, but I really want to dive into this blog post because I'm excited for the future of Zed and how bringing your own agent to Zed might be and mean more than just Gemini CLI, at least in the future. You can now interact with third-party agents directly within Zed. To make this possible, we created the agent client protocol and we've partnered with Google to integrate Gemini CLI as the initial reference implementation. There's two things that I want to make note of. One, that they're partnering with Google means that the future of Zed is looking pretty bright. Two, it's awesome that a team like this is creating new protocols. Why don't we take a look at what the ACP actually is? What the agent client protocol means for you as a user is that your code editors and your coding agents have a more standardized way of communicating with each other. Why is this important? Because you have multiple different code editors. You have multiple different agents. It would be nice if everything was more standardized. That way, if a new agent comes along, if a new code editor comes along, you don't have to think about how does that relationship actually work. So it's not something that you have to think too much about from a user standpoint, but it is exciting that Zed is kind of kickstarting this process along with uh, Google as a partner. And yeah, they even mentioned this is similar to how the language server protocol standardized this server integration. And this is something that a lot of editors and a lot of languages even use. It's pretty standard across the board. You might have an LSP for PHP, like IntelliFence or PHP Actor. You might have an LSP for, I don't know, Rust. Pretty much every language at this point has an LSP because it tells your code editor, how do I interact with this language? And so so this part right here is what I want to kind of focus on. The fact that Zed has implemented this and then partnered with Gemini, uh, even if it's not my favorite LLM currently for code, it's exciting for what the future might bring because uh, we all know what a winking face means, but I'm imagining there are other agents in the works. And now I don't have any connections with Zed or with the Zed team, but I am excited for what they have been doing and what that means for the future. And NeoVim, by the way, I'm installing Omachi on an old laptop, so I might be converted to NeoVim, but Zed also works great on Linux as well. But this is, um, this, this works for me. Anyways, back into the article. I'm not gonna show you this whole video because I'm gonna walk through what Gemini CLI looks like and how I might imagine this ACP protocol, the agent client protocol, working in the future with different agents, with different editors even. I mean, this is something that Cursor does natively right now and you kind of just expect it to work work, but that relationship isn't standardized. Now, most of this blog post talks about ACP, that agent client protocol, because there were other ways of doing it before. Because it says they defined a minimal set of JSON RPC endpoints to relay user requests to the agent, render its responses. Basically, how does something like uh, cursor actually work? Well, the result was Zed saying, hey, because we did all this work, why don't we make this something that standardizes and helps everyone, not just us? And I quite like that approach. I'm glad that Zed did that. So if you have used Gemini CLI, again, I have not up until really this point, other than maybe the first day that it came out just to play around with it, I've been strictly using Claude Code. What Zed is doing is running Gemini CLI within the actual Zed editor to say, okay, now that you are working within this sub process, let's actually talk to each other. All of these real time edits that you're actually requesting, all of these um, reviews, all of that happens now within Zed. So why don't we take a look at what this looks like within a real project. So this is Zed within a project I just scaffolded using my starter kit. And I have videos about both my starter kit as well as how Zed works within it that you can find right up to the top right there. But this is how I've configured Zed. This is how Zed has been working for me for the past three or so months. And usually I work in a different terminal when I'm opening up something like Claude Code. And then as it's editing three or four files, then I do some edits to a different part of the project. So how does this editor experience, the ACP experience within Zed actually work? And how does Gemini CLI 
do? Well, I did some test runs, and now this is a brand new slate for this. The only thing I have installed is Laravel Boost, which I'm imagining Gemini CLI isn't actually going to read because I just, only, I just have cursor rules as well as Juni rules and then a Claude.md. I don't know if Gemini CLI is going to read any of that, but let's open this up. You can see Zed's big push is adding other agents. You can add other agents. It takes you to the same page that we are kind of on in the sense that all of this can be done through their ACP. It's just Gemini CLI for right now, but this is where you can come in. Maybe you do want to be like, hey, I, I want to learn how to do all of this. Agentic programming that works within an editor. Well, ACP is the great way to get started. It's all open source. Maybe you could be the next uh, contributor to Zed. And since this blog post was just written and released on August 27th, 2025, I expect we're going to see more agents and probably open source agents that will follow along with this ACP uh, standard soon. So it's easy as clicking getting started with Gemini CLI and you automatically have a new thread available to chat with Gemini CLI. Now, if you don't uh, have an updated version of Gemini CLI or you don't have it installed, it will prompt you to install that uh, NPX. I think it's an NPM package that Gemini CLI then runs. And this works, you would expect, in the sense that you can, you know, bring in specific files or symbols or anything like that. But we can just start chatting with it. Uh, I'm going to chat with it for a little bit, and then I haven't tested this, but I'm curious of what happens when I add a specific rule. In this case, I'm just going to copy the Claude rules over to the rules that uh, Gemini CLI expects through Z. But we're just going to add a new feature. This is a rather niche use case within a Laravel ecosystem because we're using my starter kit, which is Laravel Volt with Folio. So I expect it to get most things wrong. We're going to say, uh, let's create a new Volt page that you can find in our layout, uh, allowing users to be able to add their own links to be able to read at a later date. While we won't add any notifications right now, it should be set up in order to easily add Laravel notifications in the future. So you can follow Gemini CLI as well as, again, allow or always allow specific prompts. In this case, I clicked always allow. Now I'm not gonna have you sit there and follow along, but at this point it's probably Pretty satisfactory to watch everything flash as you watch me. But we'll cut to the end after everything has been completed. I do want to note again that it has been a while since I have tested Gemini CLI. The very first time and only time I've used it outside of this Z context is when it initially released. And it was subpar to say the least. But that doesn't mean I'm ready to give it another chance, especially if this connection, this ACP, this standard that Z is trying to implement and partnered with Google is a good sign. Well, maybe it allows Gemini CLI to be better because it has more context that the editor has. I would imagine it can add things like the ability that you have within static analysis or things like PHP IntelliFence because that LSP is already interacting with your editor. So everything's finished now and I'm just going to YOLO vibe code this and accept all of those changes. But I really wanna see what this looks like, not only within the code, but then jumping into if it actually worked in the browser. So I'm going to run composer run dev in my terminal and looks like we had a failure. There was a V issue that might have just been my mistake. So after running composer run dev, getting this up into place, let's take a look at what this looks like. So I'm going to input a password and confirm it. And we're in our playground. Let's see if we have a new, yeah, we have new links. And it looks like we're missing some specific Volt settings in this case. It looks like we have an index.blade.php for our links. And this is using Laravel Volt, but it is using the functional syntax instead of the class-based syntax that I have. So if I put Volt here, and this is also helpful to know, Zed has a way of now making more subtle inline changes. I don't necessarily I like seeing everything flash before my eyes. Using subtle, I can press option to see what it's going to actually show and then tab to accept. And we don't necessarily even want this. We really just want to clear all of this, but this volt needs a parameter saying that this is the links index. So maybe that'll be good enough for now. Let's see if this changes things. It does, we don't have necessarily styles here. That's okay. HPS, google.com will add links. 
and that didn't necessarily work. That's okay. The great part is this is not a test of Gemini CLI. Uh, this is a test of how does this interaction work. So I'm curious of how the rules work because that would be something that you know, Zed with this ACP says, hey, this is how you should interact with the rules that has already been provided, but then also another standardized option within the editor. So opening up the Gemini CLI again, I'm going to add a new rule, copy this, and in our agent panel, let's go ahead and add a new rule. Agent rule, we'll save that. I think it's automatically saved, perfect. I have not used rules in Z just yet, so this is kind of a new test. I'm going to open up a new thread, new Gemini CLI thread. Now we already have MZP servers. In this case, we already have a custom server attached. I have Laravel Boost running as a context server, a custom context server. Should, so we should be able to have access to that now in Gemini CLI, provided that standardized ACP connection is working properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it something about our project. Uh, do we have any links in the database? What this should do is because we have Laravel Boost installed, I even added the rule, it should know about these MCPs. We should be able to see the tools that Laravel Boost provides using PHP Artisan Boost MCP. We do have a tool that runs uh, Laravel's Tinker to be able to see things in the database a little bit more clearly. In this case, database query. So we'll see if it does provide us knowledge that it is trying to use tools or if it just tries to do it itself. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so we see the database query of Laravel Boost. I love it. Let's allow it. Always allow that. I'm curious if always allow is just standardized for a single thread or if that is kind of saved for this project. Currently no links in the database. So we do know that that uh, Volt does not work. So I'm going to ask it to rewrite it in class-based. The rest of my project is in class-based Volt syntax using document documentation of Livewire and Livewire Volt. Let's update the uh, links index, call this index links to use everything that this project uses. Volts, class base, uh, and we'll say a flux as well. So now we should maybe pull other MCP's uh, server, MCP tools from Laravel Boost, probably the ability to say, okay, what documentation do we have? Uh, in this case, it's actually going to pull from the Flux UI MCP that I have here, Flux UI server. I'm guessing Laravel Boost might be better. So I'm probably going to delete that in a little bit. But for now, we'll just list all the all the components that are available. It is helpful to note this is not meant to be a video critiquing Gemini CLI. More so, is everything that you would expect within Zed's agentic editor? Does that work with Gemini CLI? Does it work with your project? That's what we're testing. ACPs or more so, how does Zed interact with an agent? That being said, I have always loved Zed's ability to be simple while also kind of keeping everything, I don't know, flashy or AI out of the way. I, I like knowing that I can have that still running in the background not have to think too much about it, but still edit as I normally would. Pulling up that agent panel again is just as simple as, for me, command, shift, and then question mark. And we're gonna allow all edits for this. Again, I can follow this along. I'm curious what that does if I close the editor. Okay, we're not following it along anymore. I open it back up. I do have to click follow it along again. This has updated it. I'm curious what this looks like now, going back to our browser. Okay, so something did change. The Volt Directive has got removed again. So it did not grab uh, probably the standards that we would have set. It just used list flux components. So it did not grab any documentation specifically from the Laravel Boost MCP. We are getting an error because Volt is not used right. Can we make sure we grab the documentation necessary to make sure everything is accurate? Again, this is not a hit on Zed specifically. This is more of a, maybe a Gemini CLI thing, but for the most part, there we go. We have search docs, file Laravel, boost, MCP. Perfect, I love it. It's using the MCPs that we've listed then. Okay, so it did use the class component then instead. That's perfect. We're seeing that this is what it's it's doing. Public function mount is okay. That's not necessarily what you probably should do within Laravel Livewire, specifically Volt. You would use public function with to kind of 
add new uh, material, new information to your page. Well, that's going, let's take a look at the settings that this agent provides. In this case, this is general settings, but it is external agent. And this is where that ACP is going to come into play. Maybe you wanted maybe Claude in the future, uh, maybe an open source model you can see which tools are available by by these mcps but we can turn them off or on without having to remove them from the configuration i love that because that is something that i i miss a lot using something like cloud code uh i kind of just have to disable an mcp or maybe cut it when it's trying to do, connect to an mcp without having to and without saying hey uh, don't use this mcp for example so being able to turn this off and on when necessary, like I probably will turn Flux UI off because we have Laravel Boost now. And then we have different LLM providers. So we have uh, Olama, I have that set up. We have GitHub Copilot Chat, we have Anthropic if you want to use an Anthropic key. But for now, we're just using Gemini CLI as an external agent. So I'm guessing that's how they're going to dif differentiate because Zed has always had this agentic ability, but you kind of have to use their own uh, Zed model, Zed's native agent or uh, external API key. And I haven't had too much experience testing that until today. Going back, everything looks good. We're going to keep all perfect. And it looks like I think keep all should save everything. So if we go back, we refresh link as link because the name is already in use. Interesting. So what did we do here? Well, this is not correct. You not need that up at the top there. This needs to be down here. There we go. Looks like it was that Volt directive. And yeah, most of the time that probably does throw AI agents off. Uh, I have some specific standardized settings that I have utilized for uh, my project and the specific rules, uh, but it looks like it wasn't following that very good. Let's see if this works now. Google.com, add link. Perfect. And we have Google.com. Overall, I'm incredibly happy with what Zed is doing, not only with ACPs, but also with their connection with Google and with Gemini CLI. Why? Because things like this just makes everything else better. I've been a fan of Zed for a while, but now that they are improving and even standardizing things and having those kinds of connections with uh, players as big as Google and with Gemini CLI, it just means other tools are going to get better across the board. And if things like ACP comes into play where we are standardizing those agent connection and client protocols, uh, then everything is going to get better. Curse is going to get better. VS Code is going to get better. Anything else that you might use. And like they said in their blog post, even Vim, NeoVim, by the way, has its own version to use ACPs. So let me know. Have you been able to try out Zed's new ACP with Gemini CLI? If not, give it a go. I mean, it's free. What's there to lose? So until next time, keep creating.